I appreciate your guys' response to these videos, so we're bringing you yet another one from Chicago Fire. This one is that Brett and Foster go in to save teenage kids from an overdose. So right from the get-go, you know, we've been on these calls many a times. Late at night, it's dark, you don't know what you're getting into. Fire doesn't always get dispatched with you. Police don't always arrive at the same time with you. Sometimes police don't even get dispatched. So the ambulance arrives in the pitch dark, and what do they see? They see someone coming outside, waving them down. We know when that happens, either it's gonna be bad, or it's not so much. Usually it's bad. So, let's get right into it. Person comes out, waves them down, immediately tells them, I don't think he's breathing. That tells us right away something's going on. So we grab our equipment, head inside, find the patient. Looks like there's two other people, so scene safety's not too much of an issue. He's in the hallway. They're shaking and shouting, trying to wake him up. I appreciate the help that the bystanders do. That's exactly what we need everybody to do. Trying to wake him up, trying to stimulate him. Their assessment immediately figures out that they may have overdosed on a narcotic. So they're go immediately going to give him Narcan. Now Narcan has a couple different things. We've recently heard on the news how much car fentanyl is being used and all these opiate overdoses and uh, Narcan programs and that kind of stuff. But what we need to realize is what Narcan actually does. Narcan, it doesn't stop or reverse the opiate that's going on. It actually, is, it does blockade the receptors. So we're gonna give a dose of Narcan to blockade that to get them breathing again. And that's really what it's there for. So how do we do that? We do it either intramuscular by an IM shot, we do it internasal, we do it IV, or we can even do it IO. You know, so looking at this situation, he's in the middle of the hallway, uh, there's not much room to work around. They immediately identify that this is an overdose of some kind, pinpoint pupils, leads them down the path of an opiate overdose, they choose to go IM route. I probably would have done the same thing. Police or firemen on the scene, they probably went for the nasal, and even family members that have patients that, or are families that are um, addicted to these kind of things may even have their own Narcan. So they chose to go with the IM Narcan. All right, so once they decide to give the Narcan to this guy, they go look into what happened, where he's from. Um, the crew breaks up into two. It's kind of risky, but you gotta figure out what's going on. They immediately figure out there's another victim. She does uh, a maneuver, basically putting her in a position of comfort, trying to open her airway, which is very common. She's probably gonna do a strong sternal rub big rub in the middle of the chest. You're gonna to try to stimulate her to get her to breathe or respond of some kind. She doesn't respond either. But because of the kid outside uh, had an overdose, they suspect her as an overdose, they give her an IM shot of Narcan. Question for you guys is how much Narcan do you guys carry on your trucks? Do you have enough to treat multiple patients? One, two, or three patients? You know, how is that actually gonna work? Here, <laughs> one of the errors that I see is they, it appears to give Narcan IV, but they go straight in uh, without establishing an IV. It looks like she tried to put a needle into a vein. Not necessarily the way we're gonna do it. You wanna establish that IV, make sure it's a patent line. You're gonna aspirate and, and secure that line and then go ahead and give Narcan. Again, Narcan IV is much quicker acting than it is gonna be IM or intonasal. So she's overdosed, this one's more severe. She had vomited at one point, so they gotta clear her airway uh, and give her the medications. So good, but yet not quite accurate. Finally, they continue to search the house to figure out where everybody is, and they come across one more patient. This patient's actually stuck in a bathroom. How many of us have been to calls where we actually could not get in? They end up calling uh, for more help at this moment in time. Realistically, once we have two patients on the scene, that's more than we can handle. So we should have called for more resources as soon as we realized there were two patients. Call for another ambulance, call for a rescue squad, and uh, more transport for these patients. One thing I did notice is that they actually start CPR on the girl on the couch. Again, not exactly accurate. Moving her to the couch was a good call because you wanted to clear her airway, but if she's not breathing and she has no pulse, now's the time to get her onto the floor. You need that hard surface to do CPR. Again, on the right track, not quite there. They're doing, they're doing what they can at this moment in time. So CPR in progress with their partner. We got one in the hallway that they left. I'm not sure if that would be a patient abandonment or not. 
And now that I found a third one in the bathroom. At this moment in time, have you guys thought of maybe using your triage tags, figuring out who needs to be treated and uh, how fast they need to be treated? Are these considered all yellow, all reds? Is one black and you're gonna move on? Something to think about when you're talking about uh, multiple people during an incident. So a difficult part at this time is they can tell she's breathing, uh, but they can't get to her. And Rescue, if you watch the episode, it doesn't show it on my clip here, but if you watch the episode, Rescue does a, does a fantastic thing. They don't just push the door open because there could be trauma related. They actually cut the door in half sideways, just above where a patient would be, and then basically use it like a barn door up top in order to get in. Genius. Whoever thought of that for this TV show, kudos on you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if we've met your expectations. Pass it on to your friends.